Mike, he got into some trouble. He had warrants out for him. He told me, I'm going to go to Seattle. I said, shit, man, I'll go with you. I wasn't even thinking about running away or nothing, but uh, my dad once told me if I ever got caught selling pot, I'd never come home because he'd kill me. Three days later, we met this guy named George, and he showed us this old abandoned hotel. We took all the furniture that we could find in all the different rooms and put it all in this one room. We just shower down at the compass for 50 cents, do our laundry in the laundromat, and whatever it took. It was pretty easy, actually. Let's do this. I love to fly. It's just you're alone, you have peace and quiet, nothing around you but clear blue sky. No one to hassle you, no one to tell you where to go or what to do. The only bad part about flying is having to come back down to the fucking world. That was a long time ago. I gotta go back to school someday. Because I need a diploma so I can get into the Air Force. But right oh. now, the open road USA is for me. <laughs> Check you out. I didn't talk to her much about her being a prostitute. She hadn't done it that often, from what she told me. <laughs> now, where's my kids, honey, girl? That old person's. She'll start talking about, oh, I want to have a kid and all this shit. She just wants to get too serious at too young of an age. She's only 14 years old, and she makes it sound like she's ready to get married. Well, then don't leave. I got to. No, you don't. Yeah, I gotta go get Mike out of Juno Hall. Why? Because I can't have my best friend locked up. Gotta go break him out. <laughs> Check you out. I'm serious. I'm gonna go break him out, and then we're gonna go to Florida. And what if you get caught? Oh, well, I'll still be with him. <laughs> Love? I had no idea what love was. I can't stand watching you in that dog shit. Oh, my throw that thing out the window. <laughs> Ugly. Shit. I don't think I knew what love was until I met my wife. I didn't leave the streets. I ended up doing a lot of time here and there, a lot of jail. A lot of prison, a lot of drugs. Still had a long trail to go. 32 years. I came out of prison on my last term, deciding that I was going to get out of the street life. I was tired of it, tired of living in the streets, tired of carrying guns. I came from prison telling myself, I'm going to find me a wife a good woman, strong, somebody that can understand who I am, and I'm going to live a real domestic life. This is the real way in and out of the hotel. You got to climb the wall. I was like monkey man, just climbing up and down walls. Me and Spider-Man, we got stuff in common. When I first ran away and came here to Seattle, 
I was tired of being the middleman between my mom and my dad's divorce. I told my mom when I called her about two weeks after I got her, you know, I was in trouble with the law. And she understood it, you know. She said, all right, you know, I'll see you when you're 18. And I said, all right, you know. And then about a month later, I called her again. And I said, hey, Mom, how's it going, you know? She says, oh, it's awful, you know, I'm broke. He's trying to drain me, trying to make my life miserable. She started crying a lot and asking me to come home. And I just said, Mom, I got to go. And I hung up on her. And then I never called her again. Fuck it, you know? Let her think what she wants. I'm dead, whatever she wants to think, but I don't want to listen to her cry. Making me feel bad. Still do my own laundry. She does my regular daily laundry, but anything that has to do with my work, I handle it. <laughs> Been married almost 15 years now. Everybody in? I just could not believe that this lady was willing to commit to me. Me, Rat, the guy from the streets. Been useless to anybody for so many years. And here's this woman willing to commit the rest of her life to him. I was like, yeah, I can do the same for her. I can do this. That's what changed my life. I got grandbabies now. I got my kids. It is just amazing. America, America, God shed his life on y'all. <laughs> I like uh, a lot of the girls on the street. Tiny, I like her especially. She's a sweet girl. On this woman? You think I'm crazy or something? All right, let's just jump in. All right. I do several things in my job. I not only tow, but I'm also the dispatcher. Mechanical issues, get them repaired. Did you get the Sienna out of Pep Boys? Yeah. Uh-huh. I told him it was handled, but uh, he's more worried about my criminal background. OK, see, so it might not work out with me and him either, because I have a criminal background, too. I mean, come on. I was a car thief for how many years? So yeah, if this new guy can't take me, then yeah, I'll, don't worry, I'll figure something out. Street life always makes you think you're never gonna get out of it. You feel like you're stuck in it. You wonder, am I ever gonna get out of this? Am I gonna end up dead? I own a house now. I have six beautiful children. I run a tow company. There was times that I wondered, am I going to make it out of this? Is this what life really has in store for me? stay one step ahead. I would have never got caught. I wouldn't be in here till Monday. I'll be gone by Monday. I don't want you to leave. Why oh. can't you leave till next Sunday? Because I got places to go and things to do. Wait till next Sunday. Come on, this is the last time you guys get to see me. Monday, Mike gets out. We're going to break him out Monday. So, take their cuff keys, open the door, takes Mike's cuffs off, and off to Alaska we go. That simple. Maybe we'll stop through here and pick you up. Doubt it. Maybe. Doubt it. I doubt it, but maybe. Oh, well. So long. What's the matter? 
What's the matter? Nothing. Then why are you crying? Nothing's the matter. Why are you crying? You should have figured it out by now. Well, I gotta go. Go then. Hmm? Do I at least get a hug, boss? Damn, I could be a real asshole. <laughs> I knew I would never see her again. That was it. Me and Tiny were done. It was over. What we had was fun. What we did was great. But. Yeah, I was never going to see her again. I wouldn't change nothing. I wouldn't change any of it. If somebody came to me right now and said, hey, Rat, I can take you back all the way to where before you left to Seattle, and you can redo it all, do you want to do that? I'd tell them no. Because if I changed one thing, I might not meet my wife. I wouldn't have the knowledge and the lessons that I've learned. I wouldn't be who I am today. And I'm proud of who I am today. Regardless to what I did in the past, it's about what I do now. And what I do now is take care of my family, take care of my kids, love my wife, and work hard, pay my bills, and live a happy life. Where you be living at? I be living at the Y. What, the shelter? No, I live at the Y now. I didn't have the night. I'm telling you straight up and down. I didn't have the night that night. I, no, I didn't, man. I didn't have nothing on me, man. I told you I don't need nothing to kick your ass with, man. Excuse me, sir. Can you spare some change so me and my brother can get something to eat? I can leave right now and devour you, man. Right there. He's spare change too so we can get some food. You call me a bitch? You want to meet my brother? You called me a bitch? How you doing? Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. See right. you later. Yeah. Oh. We live wherever we can. Yeah. You got right. not this, sir. Yeah. sir. <laughs> All right. Took you home for me, honey. Don't you guys steal, I will be glad. When you're dead, you punk, you beat my scooter, I'm dog. Yeah. 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 Yeah.